coming in from the Prime Minister. He's on a roadshow as we speak in Gujarat's Ahmedabad. Let's take a look. These are the visuals. परिवहन की सुविधा सभी सुविधाओं की कई परियोजनाओं की सौगात प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी ने कुछ ही वक्त पहले अंबाजी को दी है जिसकी वजह से भी लोग बहुत ज्यादा उत्साहित है बहुत ज्यादा खुश है जिस तरीके से आप देख पा रहे हैं कि मंदिर को पूरी तरह से फूलों से सजावट उसकी की गई है रंगोली बनाई गई है छोटे छोटे बच्चों से लेकर कई लोग जो है वो उनके स्वागत के लिए गरबा की तैयारी कर रहे हैं गरबा कर रहे हैं साथ ही ढोल नगाड़ों के साथ प्रधानमंत्री का अमाजी मंदिर में स्वागत किया जा रहा है अमाजी मंदिर में प्रधानमंत्री पूजा अर्चना करेंगे और फिर यहाँ से वे अपने आगे के जो प्रोग्राम है खेरालू मैसाना में वहाँ की तरफ आगे बढ़ेंगे जिस तरह से हम लगातार सुबह से बात कर रहे हैं कि शक्ति पीठ के माय कॉलीग पायल इज विथ अस राइट नाउ ब्रिंग अस मोर कॉन्टेक्स्ट अबाउट दी विजुअल्स यूर सींग ऑन योर स्क्रीन पायल द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इन गुजरात टूडे ही इज ऑब्वियसली गोइंग टू बी इनोग्रेटिंग projects worth almost 6000 crores in mehsana can you tell our audiences about the stops that are planned please so the prime minister currently is on his way to ambaji temple which is a very very uh, revered temple and modi is said to be a great devotee of that uh, ambaji uh, you know goddess and after that the prime minister in fact he will be arriving in mehsana where in fact he will be uh, donating uh, uh, and dedicating projects for 6000 crores like you mentioned these include road and transport projects railway projects as well as uh, so today and tomorrow the prime minister will be you know, not only laying foundation but also inaugurating various projects for his home state which is in gujarat and uh, continuing with his vikas push and talking about the double engine growth uh, in terms of its development but an impromptu road show for the prime minister uh, in gujarat uh, at uh, at multiple places and uh, he will be uh, dedicating uh, 5950 crore function in gujarat mehsana district where i'm currently on the way to uh, he will of course uh, 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 he will uh, he will be reaching kheralu in mehsana district uh, he will be uh, you know uh, doing multiple projects over there and dedicating it to the nation this includes like i said railway projects road projects drinking water and irrigation project uh, that the prime minister today will be speaking about and of course uh, railway connectivity connecting uh, you know uh, uh, sanand the north uh, to bar to the hord Uh, these are the various projects that Prime Minister in fact will be de- uh, will be dedicating today, and tomorrow also will be apart from the Unity Day celebration, there will be a huge push for Vikas and Rail development that will also take place on the Prime Minister's agenda. Can you tell us, Payal, uh, one of the key projects that is receiving a lot of attention right now is the Western Dedicated Freight Corridor. It's it's a part of that that will also be being inaugurated. Why is that important? Can you tell us? All right. I think we may have lost our connection with my colleague Payal. We'll try to re-establish it. Payal highlighting for us the different projects that the Prime Minister will be inaugurating. As she was telling us, almost six thousand crores worth of projects, a slew of projects, as it's being said. These are projects in different areas. So you have government department areas like Indian Railways, the Rail Infrastructure Development Limited, State Water Resources Department, the Water Supply Department, the State Roads and the Building Departments, and the Urban Building Development Departments. These are all areas that will be touched by projects that are being introduced today. Now, apart from that, in Ahmedabad, as we just told you, there's a 182-kilometer railway line that has now been made a dual track. That will also be in. inaugurated uh, you have more railway projects in specific that will be in- inaugurated the prime minister is also expected to attend a meeting of the somnath trust on monday evening uh, we bring you more context on all of those developments and what they mean for the region right now we're heading into a short break we will see you in just a few minutes this is the breaking news show we'll see you once again hello moto Hello Moto